Guten Tag, alle. Es freut mich, hier zu sein. Good afternoon. My name is Jochem. I work for KLM as an online reputation manager, which means that I'm responsible for our tone of voice on social media. Uh, I also train our agents. I do issue management, and uh, every once in a while, I get to talk to an audience like this. Great being here. When it comes to social media, there's so much I could be bragging about at KLM. I mean, we are doing actually quite great. I could be bragging about the large number of uh, some of uh, fans and followers that we have, the huge amounts of conversations that we have, the fact that we made 25 million euros in revenue last year, which is quite unique. Quite cool. I could be bragging about the fact that we have the world's largest social media team. I'm sorry. The fact that we're the only brand that is servicing in 14 languages on six platforms 24-7. That we are the only airline that has a little tool uh, allowing you to make payments through social media in a very secure way. There's so much more. I could be bragging about all the awards which we've won, but I'm not going to do that, right? Because who cares? I don't care about all these figures that much. You know why? Because actually, this is about you. This is about you, our passengers, the consumer, the people. You are way more important. So let me ask, ask uh, you a question to, for starters. How many of you believe that in five years from now, Facebook is still going to be the world's most dominant social media network? Raise your hands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not very many hands. Wow. Here's another question. How many of you believe that wearable technology like Google Glass, Apple Watch, or our own Android app are going to be just as common as our smartphones are today in five years from now. That's pretty much all of you. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Remember ICQ? How many of you have been on ICQ? Friendster, MySpace, wow. Those days are gone, man. Technology comes and goes. This is not about technology. Again, it's about you. And you are the center, and all this technology is only facilitating a dialogue. But you are the user. You are in the center. And we use all this technology to share experiences. And people truly rely on each other's experiences. We like to share this experience because it just says something about who we are. It's part of our identity online. And we like to relate to brands. But those shared experiences, they can make or break a brand, truly. They're so powerful because people rely on them. In fact, old school marketing is dead. I don't believe in that anymore. I'm sure all of us have been to a restaurant at least once where we had dinner and didn't really like the food. Paid the bill, left the tip, and went home. But what do we do the next day? We go to our friends and colleagues say, hey, don't go there. It's really not that good. Or even worse, go to an online review site and post something bad about that brand. Social media can make or break your brand. Jeff Bezos once said, your brand is what people say about you when you're not in a room. And I believe he's completely right. In fact, social media is total anarchy. You can do whatever you like as long as it's not illegal. You can't deny it. And you cannot stop it either. They tried it in Turkey last year. And a couple of months ago, uh, they tried it again. But you can't stop it. So have a look at this little fine video, a six second loop video. What you see is a baggage handler at Skip Hall, obviously not taking his job too seriously. Ouch. For your information, he does not work for KLM anymore. Now, is that a threat? Is all these social media, all these shared experiences, are they proposing, posing a threat? We don't believe so. At KLM, we are convinced that instead of that, they provide great opportunities. Great opportunities to get in touch with our clients directly, to, to learn from them, to listen to them, to help them out, to fix things, and to get inspired to make things even better and to improve. We love feedback. And so we engage. We truly want to listen to our customers. You know, for a lot of people, sending a tweet or a Facebook message to a company has become just as normal as for others to pick up the phone and call the call center. So what it comes down to is that if you do not answer a tweet, 
it's just as annoying as a call center not picking up the phone. The phone is ringing, you have to pick it up. But how do we do that? Our goal is to create a customer journey which is as smooth as possible. So what we do along the way, we add products and services that add as much value and relevance as we can. And there's two specific ones I'd like to point out. One is social payment. I mentioned before, we're the only brand in the world that offers secure payments to be made through social media. How convenient is that? And the other one is that our crews have, we handed out 5,000 iPads to our flight crews, and we can interact with them directly. So what's happening on board, we read it. What's happening on social media, it's available for our flight crew. That's really powerful. And that's how you create ambassadors. And this is really what I like. Last night, when I checked into my hotel, there was this little note in my hotel room. That's personal service. That's a smooth, smoothless, uh, smooth customer journey, I should say. I really loved it. So what else does it take? It takes transparency. And for a big corporates like airlines with a lot of confidential and strategic information, that takes a big cultural change to open up and be honest. People want true answers, and we should provide them. And you have to do it swift as well, because social media goes fast. Another thing it takes is cooperation. Anyone can open a Twitter account, but what's next? You need a lot of knowledge, a lot of cooperation to be able to answer all those tweets, thousands and thousands of them every week. So we have a vast network in the back office, and we can reach anyone we like, from any stewardess to our CEO, anyone we need to reach out to provide the best possible service on social media. And all that comes together in our social media hub. Doesn't look too sexy, but what's happening here is really interesting. This is where everything comes together. Our strategy is based on three pillars. Customer service, brand and reputation, and commerce. Now, customer service means that we provide a one-stop shop. If you knock on our door, we will answer the question. We will not send you away to any other platform or phone number if you don't really have to. We use six platforms, 24-7, and 14 languages. And Customer service is preconditioned and the most important thing you'll ever do on social media before you even think about launching any campaign or trying to earn money and sell stuff. You have to be there for your clients. That comes first. You have to listen. So let's focus on customer service. What does it take to be a good, a great social media service agent? And we have a lot of them, over 150. I think it takes two things. One of them is knowledge. We have a very complicated product, so our agents have a lot of knowledge. The other thing is mindset. And mindset is where I come in. The mindset is put down in the rules of engagement, a documented tips and tricks, how to deal with certain situations, uh, tactics, escalation guidelines, stuff like that. And the document itself is confidential. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to share it with you. However, I'd like to give you a peek little insight into the document. What does it all come down to? What does the mindset come down to? Our agents are facilitators, detectives, and plumbers. Now, what exactly does that mean? If you are a facilitator, it means that you show true interest in your clients, that you literally provide them the stage to share their experiences about their brand with us and the rest of the world as publicly as possible. And it means that we embrace any feedback that we get, no matter how negative it is. Whether you're a seven-year-old kid or a worldwide celebrity, really angry, anyone is welcome. And if you want to be a good facilitator, you have to be authentic. You have to be sincere. If you don't mean what you're saying, don't say it. And if you are authentic enough, these are genuine conversations that we had that went viral. Wow, that's what you can reach. To give you another example, <laughs> there was a little kid, seven years old, and my man name is Khan. How do I fold a paper plane? And he posted it on, on his mom's account. And I think we replied in a really nice way. The agent replied, mm, you know what? I find you this little video 
of a kid of your age showing how to do it. And you know, if you happen to have any uh, 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 blue pencils, why don't you paint it blue and show us the result? And the best part comes next. Uh, he did it, uh, but then he came back and said, well, you know, uh, my sister, she ruined my plane, so, well, I made one out of Lego. I like it. That's genuine engagement. This is our future ambassador. The second aspect is being a detective. And being a detective means that you can only make any difference for your passengers if you truly, truly understand what it's all about. So we have to get our hands on any information possible from our systems, from the internet. I don't care where you get it. Call anyone in the company. Make sure you get every information that you need. And in my role, I like to not know everything. I try to be purposely naive. Because by not trying to know at all, I just start asking this most dumbest question. Why do we do it? Is that correct? Should we do it? Does the passenger actually have a point? I love to ask questions. So you have to be open-minded and very self-critical. Does any of you have kids? You've been on the plane with your kids? I have so much respect for you. Really. Trying to entertain your kid for 10 hours. Wow. That's really not easy, really. But how about the other two? They're not having a really great flight either, right? Each story has two sides, and you always have to look at things from different perspectives. That's how you learn. That's when you can be critical. Another example. I have so much respect for passengers of size trying to be comfortable in that small seat for 10 hours. Really. But what about a poor guy sitting behind him? There is two sides to each story. Make sure you look at things from different perspectives. And one thing that really helps us out here is big data. We gather as much information as we can about our passengers to, prov to provide a truly personalized service. And we get it from our reservation systems, from the person's iPads, from a loyalty program, from our social CRM, from log on to the website. We get it everywhere we can. And if you have all the data, if you have everything you need, then you can be a plumber and truly fix things. And fixing things makes, means that you don't just post a plaster, but really go the extra mile and try to make a true difference. And you have to be creative. Don't think in limitations, think in, in what you can do. Think in options. And really get inspired to improve your product and whatever you do. This is not working. You can keep adding duct tape to that car, but it's not going to fix it. Just replace the bumper. That's what it needs. And yes, we do listen. And we have dozens, thousands of, of, of examples of how we improve things. But every once in a while, for those who know this image, we do make an epic fail. Now, the best way to deal with that is just to be honest about it. You have to be authentic and honest. So in this case, we wrote blogs about it. In 2009 or 11, I believe we were the first company ever to write a blog about its own bloopers. You have to be open and transparent about your bloopers as well. Just apologize if you have to. You know, I'm convinced that every company makes mistakes. We all do. We're human. The only thing that really matters is how we deal with that. So to wrap it up, this is about you. This is about our passengers. And to be there for you, to provide you the best possible service, we need to be facilitators, detectives, and plumbers. And it does work. We have scientific proof, the first research ever of its kind, that our social engagement does indeed add to our brand value. People value KLM higher because of what we do on social media. So if you want to talk in our ROI terms, a tough question that quite often asked, what does it bring us in return? What it brings us in return is everything we do does have an influence on the online sentiment. People are satisfied about KLM. They love what we do. They share our stories. And it does have a direct influence on the online sentiment. These are our ambassadors. And they are absolutely um, invaluable, truly. Because let's face it, Andrew Agassi once said, 
Image is everything. Thank you very much.